Hello, this is Brian Hegney, instructor of communication at High Point University in wonderful High Point, North Carolina. Welcome to the fifth installment of Working with a 2D template provided by Epic Games through Unreal Engine 4. Let's talk about audio. Woo, sorry about that. Let's talk about audio because right now I don't have any audio. I don't have a jump. I don't have any idle audio or anything like that. All right, so let's just talk about adding a jump. Okay, number one, I'm going to go to my 2D site scroller, whatever. I'm going to add um, a folder called audio. Audio. There we go. Now, I want to point out Unreal Engine needs um, its audio to, to to be certain a certain type of audio. It needs to be a wave file. It needs, or it's recommended, uh, it's 44,100 hertz. And it needs to be 16 bit. And so let's take a look at that. I'm, I've got this audio in, I've got this audio in um, Audition, right? That's kind of cool. I, I don't know why it's a B sound for a robot. Let's just let's just have fun with that. Um, or maybe it's a malfunctioning robot, like electricity is going through them. Okay, that's good. So let's say this actually is forty-four thousand one hundred hertz. This is mono. This is sixteen-bit depth. But what if it wasn't? Um, I want to point out we can save this. Uh, if you bring it into Audition, we could save file, save as, and just make sure you browse to the right spot. My 2D project audio. Yeah, that sounds like good, like a good spot. I'm gonna set this to Robo2.wave, save, and I'm gonna say, okay, what if I need to change something? Well, number one, it's a WAV file, so do your format. If you have an MP3, you can change it to WAV here or something like that. Yay. Wave is perfect. Change my sample type, right? So this is where I change it from 48,000 back down to 44,100. Um, channels, I'm going to set it to stereo. And bit depth, again, if you needed to change that from 32 bits, which some things are often recorded as, you set that down to 16 bit. Say OK. Um, I don't actually need to include markers or other metadata. It saves me five kilobytes. Awesome. And say OK. And there we have it. All right, there's Robo Jumbo 2 Wave. And we're good. I can now kind of close that. Audition has done its job. Thank you, Audition. Now we're going to come back into Unreal Engine and import that Robo 2 Wave file. Import. Now, if you did it right, you can just click play. Yay. And what we're going to do. We could actually go into. I'm not going to do it the dumb way first. I'm going to do it the good way first. So let's let's not even just, just pretend I didn't say anything. Uh, it's too hard to edit things out. So I'm just going to just pretend I didn't say anything. Thank you. I'm going to right click that wave file that's in here, the sound wave, and I'm going to say create cue. And cues are just not just cues are very complicated. No, they're not very complicated. They're more fun little audio blueprints and so yeah jump to a Q, jump o2 q is fine um, if you double click the wave file it's it's like a wave you can set it to um, where are you uh, you could you could do all sorts of things with it like it's a um, it's an effect right I could say hey that's an effect um, I could set all sorts of things to it I can make it loop but I'm not going to do that I'll go ahead and save that okay a when I go into my sound cue and double click it, okay, we get a completely different kind of thing here. This looks a lot like a blueprint. I'm pretty sure people would call it a blueprint. I don't know if it is a blueprint, but it definitely has visual scripting here. So right now that cue is set up to work with Wave Player um, or Robo Two underscore Robo Jump underscore O Two, and if we were to play that cue. <laughs> That's it. Now we don't want it to loop because we only want it to happen when we jump. What I'm going to do is grab the modulator and pull it into my little space here and drag this node from Robo 
jump O2 into there and drag the output into here. What the modulator does is it randomizes its pitch and its volume. So the pitch can be anywhere from, I'll say 0.5 because that's more fun, to 1.5 because that's more fun. Same thing with the volume. I'll say 0.5 to 1.5. Now in doing that such so drastically it's going to show you what happens, right? So So you see it it ran it randomizes uh, how it sounds. Yay. So I'm going to save that. And what I'm going to do now is go close that out mm -mm. is go into my blueprint where are you oh, there you are go into my blueprints here my 2d side scroller character blueprint which you know so well and i'm going to go down to the jump and i'm going to say okay here's the jump when it's pressed i'm going to drag a little note off of that pressed and i'm going to say play and i'm going to say play audio no Play sound, play sound 2D, play sound 2D, there. And, you know, if I'm really good, what I'm going to do is, which I am really good, I'm going to say, hey, well, when the input touch is pressed, that's also going to play that sound. There. There. And I could say, so when I click the select asset, I could select just the sound wave. And that's boring. If I select that and say compile and play it, it's always the same, right? And so what I want to do instead is say, you know what? I want to play that sound cue that kind of different, that makes a new sound with a modulator every single time. And maybe that's fun. I don't, I don't know if that's fun or not. Oh. See, that's a little bit too too different each time. That doesn't really make sense that the same robot would be making such drastic whatevers. Okay, but there's other things we could do, actually. Um, mm, like, let me just record a new one, okay? I'm going to go to Audition and just record a new file. A uh, new audio file. I'll call this RoboJump. Brian, 44,100 stereo, 16 bit, and I'm I'm gonna turn off my audio here so you so it doesn't reverb. Okay, there. Now you can hear me. Um, here's my robot sound. Robot, robot sound. Yeah, this one's good. So I'm going to select every single one but this one and just hit control X. There we go. There we go. There, there's my robot sound and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to yeah, save it. Really? Really? Yes, I told you. Oh no, it doesn't know where I want to save it. That's exactly where I want to save it. 44,116 bit uh wave. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. Let me go back to my audio, import that one then. There, good. So I'm going to go to my queue, and I'm actually going to drag my second wave file into here. I should be able to do that. Yeah. And I'm also going to say, you know what? I'm going to have a random... I'm going to have a random input here. And this output will be modulated. So let's play that. So that modulation, I'm just going to change that to like point, point 0.9, the way it was, 1.1. That's fine. 0.9, 1.1. So that should be. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's fine. But now when I hit play, uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. 
the other problem you're going to see, what time is it? 10 5. The other problem you see is that. Yeah, oh, why? I stopped talking. I'm sorry. The other problem is that every time I push space button, space bar, it makes the jump, but I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, okay, in the next video, how to fix that. All right, uh, just one more video, I think, and then I'm going to let you do whatever the heck you want to do. All right, everyone, have a good day. Bye-bye.